good afternoon everybody students today we shall discuss about uh, management and introduction to management uh, basically what is management and what it is all about in an organization because management is very important for the survival of the organization to take the organization in the right direction and for maintenance of all levels of activity in a coordinated manner the concept of management can be explained through various definitions like management is the art of getting things done through and with the people in formally organized groups so basically if you look at this definition it is an art the art of getting things done through and with people so without people there is no management so the role of manager is how to get the work done through people and that too in a very formally organized groups so in informal organizations also you have management but when we talk about it it is basically the art of getting things done through and with people in formally organized group and this definition has been given by tones Management is the process of planning, organizing, staffing, directing and controlling to accomplish organizational objectives through the coordinated use of human and material resources. So this is a lengthier definition but it is all inclusive it includes the functions of management. I repeat again management is the process of planning, organizing staffing directing and controlling to accomplish organizational objectives you have certain ob objectives set for the organization how do you achieve these organization it is all through these functions of planning organizing staffing directing controlling through this you will be able to achieve the goals that are set the objectives that are set for the organization in a very coordinated manner as i told you in the introductory sentence itself for coordinating all the activities of an organization all these functions have to be coordinated if it is not coordinated you will not be able to achieve the objectives or the targets that you have set and to achieve it through human and material resources so both are important human resources and other material resources if you look at this picture this explains the earlier two definitions it is teamwork all of them working in a coordinated manner you have targets you have objectives perfect coordination you have a manager coordinating all these affairs so pictorially it explains how management works what i would like to deal here is the definition which we have already done the concept the nature of management and the functions of management management all of you know how it is spelt and if you try to divide this term management into three three parts that is in the same word you can divide it into three manage men tactfully the last letter t if you substitute the word tactfully it is manage men tactfully if you are in a position to manage the men tactfully men when i say it also includes women so manage men tactfully and what is tactfully everybody cannot do it a right manager a good manager a motivated manager a capable manager will be able to manage tactfully the moment he is not tactful because situations are different people are different environment is different you should be able to take control and deal with every situation in a unique and tactful manner let's come on to the nature and characteristics of management management is a process when we talk about management management is not a one time activity it is a process it has certain steps it has certain functions it has certain principles all this have to be followed if you have to be a good manager it is a group activity as i showed you in the picture 
it is a team management cannot be done in isolation it cannot be an individual activity it has to be a group activity there are people there are human resources that is why when i say manage men tactfully so the group of men have to be managed tactfully and that is why we say it is a group activity it involves getting things done through people we have seen that in the definition getting things done through people so you have to uh, the get the work done even if you want the machinery to work it has to be operated by people so you have to get the work done through people in an amicable manner so people should be able to accept that they have to do it you should be able to manage you should be able to guide them you should be able to motivate them so getting things done through people it is result oriented definitely you manage for some results you manage to achieve your objectives you manage to achieve your targets so management is not done just like that it is not done because you have nothing else to do there are certain targets and results to be achieved and that is why you manage it is art as well as a science though we in the initial definition we said it is an art of getting things done it is art as well as science what is art art is application of knowledge and what is science science is a systematized body of knowledge application of that knowledge is art so it is a management is a body of knowledge it has certain principles it has theories it has a lot of work done as research and application of that because how you apply these principles how you actually put it into practice is the art and that is management that is the capability of a manager it is dynamic in nature management is not static dynamic is not fixed uh, sorry management is not fixed management is dynamic depending upon the circumstances management how you manage a situation changes you have to adjust it has to be flexible because situations are ever changing you have to adjust accordingly and be very dynamic you can you have to be flexible you cannot be rigid it should adopt a professional approach management should adopt a professional approach you cannot sacrifice professionalism in management it cannot be your own personal interest it cannot be subjective it cannot be uh, different for somebody and different for somebody else there is a reason for everything it has to be a scientific path that you adopt so the approach what you do have to be very very professional otherwise management cannot be successful it follows established principles as i told you management follows well established principles like we've got the henry fayol's 14 principles of management beautiful 14 principles of management which not only uh, is applicable in uh, organizations but in day to day life also that is what i keep telling the 14 principles of management is applicable even to us in our individual lives as individuals as you face as you go out into the world each principle of henry fayol is applicable so it follows certain well established principles so let's just let's go through the slide once again nature and characteristics it, it is a process it's not a one time activity it is a group activity it involves getting things done through people it is result oriented it is an art as well as a science it is a dynamic it is dynamic in nature it adopts professional approach and it follows established principles the functions of management uh, there's a coin word called podscop which means planning organizing staffing directing coordinating reporting and budgeting management involves all this so the functions of management in a gist is planning organizing staffing directing and controlling planning is the fundamental management function the prime function of management it is the foundation it is the basic of management which involves deciding beforehand planning means deciding beforehand what is planning planning is actually based 
on the present based on the past you decide for the present uh, you decide in the present for the future so all past present and future are interconnected what is to be done when it is to be done and how it is to be done and who is going to do it all this will be answered in planning organizing is the process of defining and grouping the activities how you group the act activities uh, of the enterprise and establishing the authority relationship among them staffing refers to finding the right employee and giving them the right place in the organization directing is the process of instructing and guiding and oversee the performance of the workers with regard to predetermined goals so basically you instruct and guide them without direction there is no management controlling is defined as the process of determining what is to be accomplished that is you set your standards you have your performance measure your performance with the standards find out the deviations evaluate it and take corrective action wherever required so these are what we have done with regard to management and it is supposed to be uh, a very important aspect in an organization i ended with a quote which says a manager should be one which manages with an iron hand but with velvet gloves a deep meaning quote with iron hand but with velvet gloves thank you we'll continue